новият офис е малко студен, но пък е доста приятен. В тази жега, толкова много вода. Като кажа вода, се сещам за море. Като кажа море, се сещам за плаж. Знаете ли, че в Австралия има толкова много плажове, че 27 години няма да ви стигнат за дългоколите всички. 27 години. Влезна е малко вода в пот. Случва да се, нали? Досадна. Замислили ли сте се за такива неща от нашето ежедневие, на които ние не обръщаме много внимание? Свикнали сме с тях. А всъщност за тях са направени много изследвания от велики учени. Ще дам елементарен пример. Събуждаш се с фрагмент от дадена песен и цял ден си я таникаш. Или пък чуваш песента по средата на деня. И целият ти ден минава таникайки с тази песен. Ние наричаме това навик. Смеем му се, а то всъщност е болест. Зараза. Нарича се ушен черви. Мамка му, обичам тази болест. Много яко шефа е вала. Обещах ви, че ще ви да доведе тук, нали? Готаво. Го. Обещах го на пае. Или го на пага? А, то много яко тук. А, яко е, нали? Е, вата момчета, че му доведат тук. Тук да не си яко. Няма, аз ще дам бе, вратно. Да, момче. Е, ще поддам ки, Здравейте. Всеки път така става, не знам как го правя, ама всеки път така става. Не съм го викал аз, бе, вратно. Не съм го викал аз. Цигарка, огънча, мадамки, а! Ти, ти, ти прибил! I'm in love. Здравейте! Като ме видите мен и вече ви е ясно, че ще трябва да представям госта в този епизод. Той има кариера повече от 18 години. Той идва директно от Westside, Калифорния и ви съветва да бъдете екипи трио. Той е... Мише, знаеш ли кой е той? Mm-hmm. Той е общото между Snoop Dogg, Beyonce, Exhibit, Lil Wayne, Wu-Tang Clan, Drake, Black Eyed Peas, Will Smith, Nicki Minaj и The Roots. Той е DJ Fingers! Той е DJ Fingers! Hello? Hey, what's up? Nice to meet you. Hey, you too. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm just enjoying the sun here in sunny beach. Do you like here in Bulgaria, the most beautiful place in the world? Uh, it's very beautiful. I've seen uh, a lot of cool things in this world, but uh, Bulgaria is at the top of the list for sure. <laughs> That's cool. We're going to take you to uh, Nesebra. Okay. That's the amazing uh, town. Okay. And uh, let's go. Let's do it. Намираме с пред входа на старият Несебър, известен още с името Месембрия. С DJ Fingers ще се опитаме да обиколим всички антични църкви, но няма да успеем, така че все пак ще направим каквото можем. Keep it real, DJ Fingers! Let's go! в Стария град на Себър, църквата Свети Йоан Али Тургетус. There is something I want to ask you. Okay. Uh, most of people think a lot before they make a big decision in their lives. Mm-hmm. So, um, how you decided uh, to make music is your thing? Um, 
I think I didn't think too much about it. Sometimes you just have to jump, you know, and if you believe in what you do and, you know, you have enough passion and drive, then anybody can do anything, you know. Nobody uh, anywhere in the world is, is, you know, not able to do something they want to do. A little tougher for, for some than others, but, um, I mean, I, I just really put everything into it and it paid off and here I am in, you know, Bulgaria, you know, <laughs> like I've been to about 58 countries around the world. So it's crazy to think that I, I started with a passion and, you know, something I really loved and turned it into this, you know? Yeah, that's, uh, that's really cool. That, that is, uh, the thing that we want to tell to our people to follow their dreams and fight for their dreams. So, uh, you work over 18 years with a lot of musicians and artists all over the world. So, uh, uh, what do you feel when you, when you make music? What? I mean, to me, music is, is a universal language. So no matter what country that I'm in, that's the thing that everybody speaks. They feel the music. They even might know the lyrics from start to finish of a song, but don't speak English at all, you know? So um, there's a lot of influence with music and it's, it speaks to a lot of people on a lot of different levels. So everybody's different with their music choice and uh, the type of music they like, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know? So everybody has their own personality. Nobody's, you know, forced to just love hip hop or rock or whatever, you know? Like we all come up a different way. And, um, you know, as long as you're passionate about what you do and you, you just love music, it doesn't matter. It's a positive thing. Yeah. Винаги съм искал да се науча да карам хикс. Надявам се да му покажеш няколко движения. Не, че не мога. се в църквата Света София. Дойдохме от София за да дойдем тук. Съдба, сигурно. So, uh, you already said that you've been uh, in uh, 58 countries, right? Yeah. Yes. That's really, really impressive. So, um, you were in Iraq during the war time uh, with Exhibit. I want to know, uh, what is the feeling and why, why did you go there? Um, well, we went in 2010, so things had calmed down a little, but there was still a lot going on. Um, we went out there just to, to play music for the troops, you know. Uh, we went out there for 10 days in Iraq and went to some of the most dangerous places in the entire world, you know. And it was, it was, it was a rush, it was exciting, but I, I think we felt really good to be able to go there and do something for people that have been stuck out there for a year, you know, like little bases in the middle of the desert where people were just living for a year and, you know, a hundred people. We went and performed on one base, it was a hundred soldiers, you know, like, but it was, it was really cool and they never forgot that and uh, I think that was one of my best experiences in life, being able to yeah, do that and so. fly in these helicopters and planes and like just really crazy, you know, we even got uh, hit by missiles on a base, you know, right next to us, like, like why we were out Side, like just a lot of crazy stuff but it was it was cool I, yeah, I, I love it I would do it again I would do it yeah again. really yeah yeah that's really amazing yeah. but I want to ask you something else is there a, a moment in your career when you when you really want to say yeah forgot that I want to quit is there a moment in, in your career right now because it's so hot <laughs> no, no, it's like, yeah, sorry no, about no, that, no, but, no. Uh, <laughs> it's awesome no actually I don't think I think maybe once or twice I've, I've maybe thought about different paths that are always connected to music, but I don't think in my lifetime there'll ever be a situation where I could disconnect from music, whether it's music management, production, DJing, like I have to be connected to music and, and that's just my life, you know, so I don't know anything else. I know, you know, business and marketing and that's helped me get where I am as well because I handle my own stuff. Yeah, and, and and anybody out there listening to, you know, try to do and learn as much as you can yourself, you know, and be able to be self-sufficient and not have to depend on other people and you can go a little faster, you know, and yep. you can work more within your budget, you know, if you're self-contained unit. You can do your own graphics, you can do video, you can, you know, I learned how to do all that so I still have certain 
people I work with, but in the case I need something done, I can do it myself. I don't have to wait. You know what I mean? Yeah. So educate yourself with business and, and the other stuff that goes along with music. Yeah. That's really good advice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, yes, for sure. In our show, we keep telling people to fight for their dreams and uh, follow their dreams. So uh, I want to know, what is your advice for them? Um, I mean, just like you said, you know, uh, always fight for what you believe in and, and always push forward. You never know what the next day could bring. So you work really hard and then one day you just might want to give up and you don't know if that next day could have been the big day. You know what I mean? So that's always been my mentality is go, go, go. Just chip away, chip away, chip away and you keep growing, you know. Keep and doing your thing. Keep doing your thing and, and learn from your mistakes and, you know, try to turn negatives into positives and, and, and you know, I know, again, it's harder for other people in certain countries and certain, uh, you know, regions to do a little bit more than others, but try to use your resources the best you can where you're from you know networking is still the same anywhere in the world you know like those are common things that you can use and um, I, I definitely suggest everybody to to utilize that you know and, and network in your neighborhood and build a following and, and go back to the methods of grassroots where you're actually out there you know don't just depend only on social media now you know there was not social media when I came up you know so it's yeah. hand to hand and talking to people and, and don't lose that element as well as using social media so you combine the two yep uh, that's pretty cool but uh, can you describe Bulgaria in one word just one word sunny <laughs> Благодарим на всички, които се включиха в инициативата ни. Ако желаеш творчеството ти да устигне до хората чрез нас, изпращай ни своите битове, текстове и песни на нашата фейсбук страница Kipetril или на нашия имейл адрес kipetrilshow.abv.bg А ние в края на всеки епизод ще публикуваме произведенията ви точно в 22.00 на нашата фейсбук страница. На края на сезона ще обявим официално гласуване. Човекът с най-добър текст и човекът с най-добър бит ще имат възможността да направят професионален запис в студио и да пуснат свой собствен общ проект. Успехът е избор, а изборът е твой. Пил-пил. Чао, довиждане и това е, разбираш, някой друг ще го поеме това, брато. Защото много мислих и искам да ти кажа, милен. Нямам време, брат, той изчезвам. Благодаря ти за всичко. Милен, брат. Това беше всичко от нас за този епизод. А от Кипетрил запомнете още едно. За да постигнеш нещо, което никога не си постигал, трябва да направиш нещо, което никога не си правил. Ah!
Dude, but I didn't see your Instagram. И текстове и песни на нашата фейсбук страница Кипетрил или на имейл адреса ни kipetrilshow.klomba.klomba.kbv или на точка точка две точки тиренце. След края на всеки епизод, точно в 22.00 ще публикуваме вашите произведения. Добре, да що не става? Вътрешно интервю, точно след скока. Направо ние се оплашихме. Ние се оплашихме, да го е. Кажи ето. Кажи, какво правиш, ай? Проверявам си зъбите, да гледа дали са тук всичките. Да преди ги. Без му трезвам на заболекар. Съм си прекрасно. Отивам с моят екип на едно много готино място. Радвам се, че няма странични хора. Само ние сме само на... Какво снимаш ли? Е, 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 то клипче ли въртле? Коста?